friends welcome back variety is the spice of life and we all love eating different foods so the fact that i'm married into a family that's half chinese i constantly get exposed to new recipes so this summer when the family was around i tasted this goat meat prepared with spiced black beans and it was delicious so i thought of capturing this recipe and sharing with all of you so if you all are ready let's head straight into cooking but before that take a look at the list of ingredients so getting started here clean the meat and make sure pieces are cut to sizes of your preference and then transfer it into a clean bowl and add half a teaspoon of cornstarch followed by two tablespoons of light soy sauce and then give the meat a nice mix and then set it aside for roughly 40 minutes for marination in the meantime this is the black bean that we are going to use today the spiced black bean available in any asian stores the rest of the ingredients here ginger garlic green chilies now heat oil in a kadhai or deep pan and add the chopped ginger and garlic and then add the green chilies now make sure that you slit the green chilies slightly otherwise they may explode while cooking so be safe and make sure you are slitting them slightly and here we are adding two tablespoons of the spiced black bean now what we had done is uh, soaked the black bean in slightly warm water yeah here is the water i'm going to keep this aside and we'll use it later so once the ginger and garlic has turned golden brown we are going to go ahead and add the meat now you can see the meat is absolutely fresh all the meat lovers can tell this by the look and feel of it so we got this from a local butcher here it's absolutely fresh and now we are going to continue to cook this for some time so here is the water from the soaked bean we are adding that remember to reduce the heat to medium at this point in time and continue to cook we are adding a tablespoon of dark soy sauce here at this time we'll give it a stir and you can see the color of the meat has changed it has acquired the color from the dark soy sauce it's looking really really good now at this time we are going to make sure that we are adding water enough to cover the meat and then cook this on low heat for roughly an hour make sure that you're stirring in between so after an hour you can see the water has dried up the meat is looking good but we are going to add another cup of water and cook this on low heat for another one hour so that the meat can become tender so cover it and cook for an hour so another hour has gone by and now you can see the curry is looking good the meat is tender everything is just right the way we want it so give it a nice stir if you like thicker curry you can dry it up a little bit more but i think we are good at this point in time our meat is ready all we need to do now is remove it in a serving bowl and enjoy okay so i hope you all enjoyed this thank you for watching and do come back for more till we meet again keep cooking and keep baking see ya